All right, everybody. If you watched my unboxing video, I mean, not really, really unboxing. I don't, like I said, I don't really care to watch five minutes of people talking about what's inside a box. If you order one, you're gonna get one. But here's the uh, the uh, Axial SCX10 base cam, the one I got, and uh, yeah, I just opened it up, and I figured we'll give it a quick go on the backyard course, coming together. Still more to build on it, but. We'll, uh, we'll get there. Let's see how she does. It's bone stock. Take it right up the little trail we have right here. Oh, yeah. I'm really liking the tires, those Falcon Wild Peaks. Rip. Oh yeah. So what I'm hearing is a lot of body catching. Looks like I might have to do some trimming. You don't want to hear hear that the whole time you're out on the trail. Man, look at that though. So the only mod I've done is I removed the uh, the sh uh, shock uh, travel limiters off of it, and then the battery I didn't use the back mounting spot. I actually used the side to even out the weight, and then I removed the back. I removed the back uh, battery tray just to. I mean, every little bit of weight helps. I'm sure it's not a huge difference, but let's see here. Yeah, let's take it down into the hot tub. Look at that. Oh man, is he gonna make the hard line? Yes! Awesome. Pick it up the flex bridge. Oh, and if it's catching now, I'm sure it's gonna. Oh yeah. Oh man, that body. Gonna definitely need to be trimmed a little bit. Let's see how this. Definitely quick on the reverse, too. Alright, let's see here. So I almost trip over one of my plants. Let's see. So this slab face right here definitely likes to trip up some of the smaller ones. I right, just gotta step back. Sorry about my shoddy camera work. Let's see. You gonna make it up, bud? All right, let's pick a let's pick a different line. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that right front tire, put it up on that rock, clip it. There it is. Come on. Yes. Nice. Nice. Like I said, I ordered it in the concrete gray, but it showed up with a blue one. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm not I'm not hating the blue right now in person. Pictures make it look like a lot more like a baby blue, but in person, it definitely has pretty good color to it. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. It just wants to tear into that body. Yeah, definitely do some trimming. That's on the to-do list on this one. Oh, yeah, this thing is sweet. Like I said, I think the only thing that's really hanging me up right now it's just that body just grabbing on those tires and rattling okay we're back here on the bench and let me tell you what I've done over the last hour or so okay so amazing super awesome holy crap 
Really impressed with these tires. The whole the whole thing is just great for what it is. But I uh, like I was saying earlier, the body catching on the tires was a huge huge turn off to me initially. So I don't know if you can tell, but I've taken it out to the shop. I still got a little plastic dust on it. Took it out to the shop with a big old drum uh, drum sander in the drill press, and I just shaved all this off way up there, so you can see. Now it doesn't want to hit because this was clear down to like, there was probably like a whole nother like eighth of an inch or more, especially on these edges right here. The corners were just very jagged and they were catching. And here on the back, you can kind of see, I need to clean that up a little bit, but same thing back here. Um, I took a lot out of the back here because this back tire was really catching. But as you can see now, nothing. Oof, that's not, a, that's not the straightest line I've ever cut. I might have to fix that a little bit. But as you can see, now I can go full flex and not hit it. The next thing I notice, this body likes to scratch. And under the sun, you can tell a lot. And I really like to keep my stuff as clean looking as possible. So what I did was I took some links, some stock links, off the uh, UTB 18 right there. Gorgeous. And mounted them with some screws to the right there. And uh, they still, uh, they turn like links. <laughs> but now I'll have myself a uh, nice little uh, skid guard up top, especially if it rolls. I'm a big believer in using links as uh, spare uh, skid skid guards and stuff. As you can see right here on my uh, UTB-18, I've actually took stock links off my TRX-4M. Sorry, my finger was in that. And actually heated them up and turned them into skid guards on the top there. So, if you find yourself with spare links, plastic ones they uh oh man they make awesome skid skid rails that's what you want to call them all right man thank you guys for watching so much yeah i just barely got this today so there's still a lot to come with it um but so far the mods are shave the body i took the uh flex limiters out of the uh uh shocks i don't and then uh, i added these skid rails up top and let me tell you, wow, amazing.